Hello friends, welcome to Indian Pacific. Today we are going to introduce one of the powerful Java CMS. It's LifeRay. So if you want to learn LifeRay from scratch, then subscribe our channel and stay tuned with us. Before we move to learn the LifeRay, let's understand little bit about content management system. Suppose if I want to develop one of the static website. So in the case of static website, I will go to the one of the software company and request them to develop the static websites. Once they have complete the development, they will make it online. But after few months, if I want to make a change in the description or I want to change some images, as you can see in my screen, I have shown some web pages. This is the static website. Okay. So in this case, if I want to change description images, again I have to go to the dead people and request them to make those changes. But if website is developed in using the content management system, in that case, if we are not a technical person, still we are able to make those changes easily and we can quickly publish our content on live website. So this is the biggest advantage to use the CMS. In the case of dynamic website or a portal, we know the dynamic website have some common modules like login page is there, registration page is there. Also we have to manage users, roles and permissions. All these modules are coming in built in CMS. So we have to just customize all these modules as per our client requirement. If we want to develop our own module from scratch, still we are able to do the same thing. The customized module and own modules we can deploy hotly into the server. Hot deployment that means we don't need to stop our server, we can deploy our modules in the content management system and we can easily publish these modules on live websites. Also content management system is providing that you can integrate other helpful software in our content management system. If we want to develop any online shopping portal, so there are many content management system are available. Using that and using their inbuilt modules, we can quickly start online shopping portal and we can quickly release our project. There are some other concept, concepts like a theme is there. In the theme, it contains CSS, JS file, which is responsible for whatever the look and feel of our web pages. If you want to change the look and feel of our pages or if you want to change the theme of our portal within a click we can change the theme of our portal and we can deploy also the theme on a hot way let's move to the liferay cms it contains all these kind of inbuilt modules and functionalities let's download the liferay and do setup with mysql database so there are some softwares we need to install before we start the setup of liferay so we have to install Java JDK 1.8 or higher, you need to install the MySQL database or any other that you want to use. Go to download the Liferay bundle. I will show you that how to download it. You need to also set the Java home and JRU uh, environment variables in your system. If you want to use Workbench or SQL UO for interacting with MySQL database, then you can use the same. Download the Liferay, go to the google.com and type down download. Liferay and whatever the version that you want to use. Suppose if you want to use 7.2, so you can able you are able to download the library from library.com and sourceforge.net. So in sourceforge.net also you will find the source of the library and all other dependencies also there. So now Let's create one database in our MySQL. I already installed MySQL and I'm using currently SQL Yoke. You can also use the workbench. So I'm giving L portal 72 name of my database. You can give any name here as per your project requirement. I'm selecting UTF 8 format and UTF 8 general CI database is created and you can see there is no tables there are no tables in our database now let's configure our server life server into the eclipse configure the life server into eclipse open the 
servers to the new server then you will see how to select the life ray 7.x because currently I am using 7.2 version from the server run environment you have to select your folder like I am using life ray 7.2 so wherever I have extracted that my bundle you have to select that folder go to till the tomcat folder select the tomcat folder okay so it is configured now to the next and finish you have to also increase the timeout of server right click on server open go to the timeout and increase the timeout because sometimes life ray will take more time for startup you need at least 4 GB RAM and if you are a developer and if you, you are working with Eclipse and life ray then you need at least 8 GB RAM to work with the life ray so now I am going to start the life ray server right click on the server and click on start button so our life ray server will start by default it will use hypersonic database HSQL DB you can see here it is using HSQL database engine so here you are able to see the menu related to life ray right so that menu for that menu you have to install the life ray ID into your Eclipse or you can use the life ray developer studio with that then all the menu related to life ray will available in your Eclipse the configuration for your life ray server into Eclipse so this is the menu of the life ray from here you can do the new life ray server and you can move forward with this so our life ray server is starting it is in inbuilt use Elasticsearch but in the case of production we have to use we have to configure Elasticsearch out of life ray bundle you can see embedded Elasticsearch is currently used by life ray bundle but in case of production you have to use it from outside total ext properties picked up by the life ray you can do the life life ray database related settings in portal ext properties also so once life ray will start it we are able to access it at localhost 8080 the life ray from scratch like a portlet developer Here we can change the email address of our administrator user 
and the first name and last name also by default library is using ipersonic database from here change link clicking on that link you can change the or database I'm selecting mysql here we have to give the database name so l portal 72 we have already created database username and password adding sample data so once i will click on finish configuration library will ask to restart the server so changes will take effect when the portal is restarted please restart the portal now so once i will restart library will pick my sql database i'm restarting the server created life reservant to database right now there are no tables in database here you can see mysql is picked up i'm using mysql 5.7 life is starting all the configuration related to database and administrator user are stored in portal setup wizard properties let's move there this property file is automatically created let's open it so here the configuration of administrator user is there all the database related configuration is also stored here so in this case once the library started if you are able to log in with the test at library.com and password is test then your life setup is done properly with mysql database otherwise it can be possible there are some issues in your life rate setup process and we will see and we will interact with the life rate portal so from the server log we are able to see it is finding l portal 7 to database and it will create all required table inside it so all tables are created into
8080 okay now home page is loaded it's loading once it is loaded we will try to log in with test user so this is the home page of our life ray our life ray but once i am able to log in with the test user then and then we can confirm that our life ray setup is done or not so trying to log in with the test user so we are able to log in with the test user so our setup is done you have to accept your domain condition terms and conditions are accepted and you have to give a password reminder for your admin user you can give anything for local use so our life ray setup is done because we are able to log in with test user here you can see we are able to see all the menu from here we are can see the control panel in the next videos we will see how what are the things are there in the control panel what we can configure how can we create the user through control panel permissions and roles all things we will see from here you can add your module if you have developed the custom modules then it will come here and you can also add Uh, inbuilt portlets or modules onto this page. This currently we are on the home page of LifeRay. Okay, from here we are able to add modules. So there are many inbuilt modules are there. Like blogs portlet is there. Calendar portlet is there. Clicking on this, we are able to add those modules on our LifeRay page. So this is the basic introduction of life ray and we can we'll see the life ray mvc portlet development and how to customize the life ray in the next videos so please subscribe our channel thank you